more than 100 bushfires are raging across the country in peak season and dry, hot, windy weather confronts our fireys, what ammunition do they have up their sleeves? Well, how about your very own robo fire? Known as the TAF-20, or Turbine Aided Firefighting Machine, it's a high-tech device that can move cars out of the way with its bulldozer blade, clear smoke from a building with a high-powered fan, as well as spray water mist or foam for up to 60 metres. There's also a Fitbit for fireys. It's called Prometeo. It looks just like a smartphone and it's designed to be worn on a firefighter's arm. It uses sensors to measure carbon monoxide levels, heat and humidity, and sends alerts to local commanders about the health of their firefighters. An Aussie-made invention is also adding to our firefighting arsenal. This new firefighting water tank turns unused military helicopters into water bombing aircraft. It's designed to fit Black Hawk helicopters, which are known for their ability to fly in rough weather conditions. Speaking of aircraft, Australia has more than 500 planes and helicopters specially equipped to fight bushfires across the country. They include smaller aircraft used for command and control, through to larger fixed-wing planes and helicopters that can dump thousands of litres of water. The biggest firefighting aircraft in Australia at the moment is a Boeing 737 water bomber known as Gaia. Gaia can hold up to 72 passengers and has more than 15,000 litres capacity. A DC-10 air tanker from the United States has also arrived to join the firefighting efforts. It can drop 35,000 litres of water or fire retardant in 8 seconds. Water bombing aircraft are useful in the early stages of a bushfire because they're quick and they can travel in a straight line. But they aren't the magic bullet. Firstly, they don't come cheap. It costs about $2.5 million a year to lease a large fixed-wing air tanker and about $2.2 million to lease large helicopters. Even with a full fleet, with fire emergencies around the country, it would be a logistical nightmare to operate them all. And when conditions get too bad, not even giant water bombers can make a difference because they're grounded by extreme weather and firestorms. So with peak bushfire season looming, now's the time to find new tools and innovative ways to prevent disaster.